In this quick tip, we'll take a look at the new Add Remove Time feature in ProShow 8. When adjusting slide timing in ProShow, typically you'll make changes to one slide at a time. New in ProShow 8, the Add Remove Time option now allows you to take a more show-centric look at slide timing changes. Let's take a look at changing the slide and transition times for a show using a very common example. I have the perfect song. Unfortunately, it's 30 seconds longer than my show. I don't have any more content to add, and I don't want to cut off the end of the song. This is where the Add Remove Time tool comes in handy. To add or remove time, first, choose which slides will be affected by the timing change. You can choose any number of slides in any part of your show. Now, with my slides selected, in the menu bar, select Slide, then choose Add Remove Time. In the Add Remove window, choose whether you wish to add or remove time, then type in an amount of time. For this example, I'm going to add 30 seconds to my show. In the What to Modify area, select which elements will be changed. I can apply the time change to either slide or transition durations. Next, I'll set the distribution. This defines how the 30 seconds I'm adding will be applied to my selected slides. Apply the change to each item individually is just like selecting a range of slides in the slide list and changing timing on one slide. If I choose this, it will apply 30 seconds to each of the selected slides. As you can see, that will add a lot more time to my show than I want. For this example, I only want to add a total of 30 seconds to my show. So, I'll choose Spread the Time Across All Items. This will take my 30 seconds and apply it evenly across my selected slides. Now, we can see that my show and my song line up perfectly. When making adjustments, you don't have to apply changes to every slide in your show. Also, you can add and remove time to both slides and transitions. For example, I could select a handful of slides and add 20 seconds of time, modifying the slide times, then select a different group of slides and add 10 seconds of time that affect my transitions. Being able to add or remove time to specific groups of slides in different ways makes it very easy to maintain your show pacing and keep your effects intact when you need to make show-centric timing changes. Thanks for watching. Be sure to check out our blog, follow us on Vimeo, and subscribe to our YouTube channel for even more helpful tips.